Srimad Bhagavatam Translated with commentaries by His Divine Grace A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada Canto 1 Chapter 7 The Son of Drona Punished Text 6 The material miseries of the living entity which are superfluous to him can be directly mitigated by the linking process of devotional service. But the mass of people do not know this, and therefore the learned Vyasadeva compiled this Vedic literature, which is in relation to the supreme truth. Purport Srila Vyasadeva was the all-perfect personality of Godhead. The statement suggests that the complete unit of the personality of Godhead includes his parts and parcels also. He saw, therefore, his different energies, namely the internal energy, the marginal energy, and the external energy. He saw also his different plenary portions and parts of the plenary portions, namely his different incarnations also. And he specifically observed the unwanted miseries of the conditioned souls who are bewildered by the external energy. And at last he saw the remedial measure for the conditioned souls, namely the process of devotional service. It is a great transcendental science and begins with the process of hearing and chanting the name, fame, glory, etc., of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Revival of the dormant affection or love of Godhead does not depend on the mechanical system of hearing and chanting, but it solely and wholly depends on the causeless mercy of the Lord. When the Lord is fully satisfied with the sincere efforts of the devotee, he may endow him with his loving transcendental service. But even with the prescribed forms of hearing and chanting, there is at once mitigation of the superfluous and unwanted miseries of material existence. Such mitigation of material affection does not wait for development of transcendental knowledge. Rather, knowledge is dependent on devotional service for ultimate realization of the Supreme Truth. Text 7 Simply by hearing this Vedic literature, the feeling for loving devotional service to the Lord, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, sprouts up at once to extinguish the fire of lamentation, illusion, and fearfulness. Purport There are various senses of which the ear is the most effective. This sense works even when a man is in deep sleep. One can protect himself from the hands of an enemy while awake, but while asleep, one is protected by the ear only. The importance of hearing is mentioned here in connection with attaining the highest perfection of life, namely, getting free from material pangs. Everyone is full of lamentation at every moment. He is after the mirage of illusory things and is always afraid of his supposed enemy. These are the primary symptoms of material disease, and it is definitely suggested herein that simply by hearing the message of Srimad Bhagavatam, one gets attachment for the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Sri Krishna. And as soon as this is effected, the symptoms of the material disease disappear. Srila Vyasadeva was the all-perfect personality of Godhead, and in this statement, the all-perfect personality of Godhead, Sri Krishna, is clearly confirmed. The ultimate result of devotional service is to develop genuine love for the Supreme Personality. Love is a word which is often used in relation with man and woman, and love is the only word that can be properly used to indicate the relation between Lord Krishna and the living entities. 
The living entities are mentioned as Prakriti in the Bhagavad Gita. And in Sanskrit, Prakriti is a feminine object. The Lord is always described as the Parama Purusha, or the supreme male personality. Thus, the affection between the Lord and the living entities is something like that between the male and the female. Therefore, the term love of Godhead is quite appropriate. Loving devotional service of the Lord begins with hearing about the Lord. There is no difference between the Lord and the subject matter heard about him. The Lord is absolute in all respects, and thus there is no difference between him and the subject matter heard about him. Therefore, hearing about him means immediate contact with him by the process of vibration of the transcendental sound. And the transcendental sound is so effective that it acts at once by removing all material affections mentioned above. As mentioned before, a living entity develops a sort of complexity by material association. And the illusory encagement of the material body is accepted as an actual fact. Under such false complexity, the living beings under different categories of life become illusioned in different ways. Even in the most developed stage of human life, the same illusion prevails in the form of many isms and divides the loving relation with the Lord, and thereby divides the loving relation between man and man. By hearing the subject matter of Srimad Bhagavatam, this false complexity of materialism is removed, and real peace in society begins, which politicians aspire for so eagerly in so many political situations. Politicians want a peaceful situation between man and man and nation and nation, but at the same time, because of too much attachment for material domination, there is illusion and fearfulness. Therefore, the politicians' peace conferences cannot bring about peace in society. It can only be done by hearing the subject matter described in the Srimad Bhagavatam about the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Sri Krishna. The foolish politicians may go on holding peace and summit conferences for hundreds of years, but they will fail to achieve success. Until we reach the stage of re-establishing our lost relation with Krishna, the illusion of accepting the body as the self will prevail, and thus fearfulness will also prevail. As for validity of Sri Krishna as the Supreme Personality of Godhead, there are hundreds and thousands of evidences from revealed scriptures, and there are hundreds and thousands of evidences from personal experiences of devotees in various places like Vrindavan, Navadweep, and Puri. Even in the Kamadi Dictionary, the synonyms of Krishna are given as the son of Yasoda, the Supreme Personality of Godhead Param Brahman. The conclusion is that simply by hearing the Vedic literature, Srimad Bhagavatam, one can have direct connection with the Supreme Personality of Godhead Sri Krishna and thereby one can attain the highest perfection of life by transcending worldly miseries, illusions, and fearfulness. These are practical tests for one who has actually given a submissive hearing to the readings of the Srimad Bhagavatam. Text 8 The great sage Vyasadeva, after compiling the Srimad Bhagavatam, and revising it, taught it to his own son, Sri Sukadev Goswami, who was already engaged in self-realization. Purport Srimad Bhagavatam is the natural commentation on the Brahma Sutras compiled by the same author. This Brahma Sutra, or Vedanta Sutra, is meant for those who are already engaged in self-realization. Srimad Bhagavatam is so made that one becomes at once engaged 
in the path of self-realization simply by hearing the topics. Although it is especially meant for the Paramahamsas, or those who are totally engaged in self-realization, it works into the depth of the heart of those who may be worldly men. Worldly men are all engaged in sense gratification. But even such men will find in this Vedic literature a remedial measure for their material diseases. Sukadev Goswami was a liberated soul from the very beginning of his birth, and his father taught him Srimad Bhagavatam. Amongst mundane scholars, there is some diversity of opinion as to the date of compilation of Srimad Bhagavatam. It is, however, certain from the text of the Bhagavatam that it was compiled before the disappearance of King Parikshit and after the departure of Lord Krishna. When Maharaj Parikshit was ruling the world as the king of Bharatavarsa, he chastised the personality of Kali. According to revealed scriptures and astrological calculation, the age of Kali is in its 5,000th year. Therefore, Srimad Bhagavatam was compiled not less than 5,000 years ago. Mahabharata was compiled before Srimad Bhagavatam, and the Puranas were compiled before Mahabharata. That is an estimation of the date of compilation of the different Vedic literatures. The synopsis of Srimad Bhagavatam was given before the detailed description under instruction of Narada. Srimad Bhagavatam is the science for following the path of Nivriti Marg. The path of Pravriti Marg was condemned by Narada. That is the natural inclination for all conditioned souls. The theme of Srimad Bhagavatam is the cure of the materialistic disease of the human being, or stopping completely the pangs of material existence. Text 9 Sri Shonaka asked Sutta Goswami. Sri Shukadev Goswami was already on the path of self realization, and thus he was pleased with his own self. So why did he take the trouble to undergo the study of such a vast literature? Purport For the people in general, the highest perfection of life is to cease from material activities and be fixed on the path of self-realization. Those who take pleasure in sense enjoyment or those who are fixed in material bodily welfare work are called karmis. Out of thousands and millions of such karmis, one may become an atmarama by self-realization. Atma means self, and rama means to take pleasure. Everyone is searching after the highest pleasure, but the standard of pleasure of one may be different from the standard of another. Therefore, the standard of pleasure enjoyed by the karmis is different from that of the atmaramas. The atmaramas are completely indifferent to material enjoyment in every respect, Srila Shukadev Goswami had already attained that stage, and still he was attracted to undergo the trouble of studying the great Bhagavatam literature. This means that Srimad Bhagavatam is postgraduate study, even for the Atmaramas who have surpassed all the studies of Vedic knowledge. Text 10. 